feels really old. Well, I mean, you're also super buff. Who are you getting at? awesome cool thing is if we want more we just get a rake and put it on the pile right. whoop, whoop. Right. This style of fence is a very old style of fence called a dead hedge in England where hedges were the the way that you divided very small fields in the medieval period and earlier back before we had mechanized farming hedges were the way to go you can make a hedge it's a living wall it keeps stuff out but what do you do if you don't have a living wall yet and you need to keep the goats off it you build a dead hedge. What you basically do is you set a whole bunch of vertical posts and then layer in all the dead, useless twigs that you can't really use for anything else. In modern farms, this type of leftover tree material either goes to the dump or goes to a burn pile. And this is a way to use it. So we've got this stuff layered in. Um, it is very much me proof. It's very much deer proof. I've used a less sophisticated version of this fence to keep deer out before and it is shockingly easy to make. The hardest part is sinking these vertical pillars in using a post hole digger, and you need quite a lot of them in order to keep this bundle packed the way it needs to be. And so yesterday I did about five, and you can see the blisters on my hand. Yeah, not fun. Other than that, it's shockingly easy. The only major downside is you need a very, very large amount of twigs. So this section right here, it's about 12 feet long, took two truckloads of twigs, which by my estimate means that to finish all the way around the garden, I'm going to need about 30. However, I happen to have access to a very large brush pile in an area where the local community dumps off their twigs. And I think this is gonna work. It's gonna keep the deer out. It's 100% organic. I can dispense with the nasty barbed wire stuff. So we started this project in September. And when I say started, I mean mostly started. There was a section that was kind of sort of done from the year before. If you want to see the slightly sorry state the fence was in last year, check out a previous video on my 2020 garden. It's now April. So we've been working on this all winter and working on is a pretty generous term because you know, I can't work when it's snowy. I can only work on the good days. But still, every single time I go to get a load of sticks with my truck, I can make maybe between four and six feet of fence with a truckload of sticks. So you do the math and that's a lot of truckloads. You know, I, I wouldn't do it another way. At least not for this yard. Even though um, I've spent, I don't know, 70 hours trying to build this fence and, you know, built some muscle on that post hole digger. I've built some muscle on that post hole digger. I've gotten benefit out of 
the process, not just the result. And the result, I hope you'll agree, is beautiful. This fence is going to keep my children safe and enclosed inside the yard so they don't escape off into who knows where. And it's going to keep my garden safe from the deer that otherwise would ravage it. Again, see that previous video on gardening in 2020. So yeah, process is good, result is good. We've made a fence. <laughs>